Unit 3, managing your expenses. Now we're, we're talking about in Unit 2 about managing your money. Now we're going to manage your expenses in a more, more specific way. Uh, this unit has the three sections in it, or three chapters, sorry. Chapter 6, Chapter 7, and Chapter 8. Uh, so let's just give you an idea about Chapter 6. Chapter 6 is going to be about, uh, you know, sales tax. And knowing that, you know, you need to pay sales tax when you buy something. And this is uh, typical in every every country in the world. Either usually there's a, they have a sales tax on items that you buy. And then we're going to be doing the calculating the, the purchase price. For example, if something costs some certain amount of money, we need to see how much is going to be uh, the amount after the sales tax. So, and then we're going to be doing the unit pricing. Unit pricing means what? What does it mean? Let's say you have an item. It's a big item and you have a smaller item next to it and you want to compare the, the, the price uh, per, per unit. So you, we will show you how to do this. So this way you could do an actual comparison. If you want to go to a shopping mall or, 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 a, or a grocery store, you could do that. Uh, also, we're going to be doing the, the uh, markdown, something called markdown. Uh, something we're going to do also something called the coupons and uh, rebates coupons and rebates as when when you get a discount for example uh, by by uh, mail for example they send you a, a coupon uh, in a newspaper or you could you could you could get it by uh, a mail for example or uh, if you go to a store itself and you see it the items are being marked down means markdown means what you know the price being reduced so also we'll find out how we could find the final price now this is chapter six or chapter seven it's it's more interesting it's a little bit different so here we're going to talk about credit cards okay how they you know what are the charges how they charge you uh, what kind of the expenses how they do the the calculation there's more than one way of doing it uh, credit card companies they use different ideas, different system, but there's two systems here, like in seven two and seven three. Uh, the finance charge. I mean, we, when we talk about credit card charges, we talk about something called finance charge. Remember, the the credit card is like a loan. You get in a loan. So if if a bank gives you a credit card, it's like giving you an open loan. Or that open loan it opens and closes at the end of the month, for example. So uh, some credit card to give you, let's say, a limit of $5,000. So you could buy up to 5000 that month, okay, and you have to repay it. Or if you don't want to do that, you could pay it on a monthly installment. But that's where finance charges start showing. And finance charges are very high on a credit card. So they could go up from 18% to 24%, uh, depending on the banks or the, the, the type of credit card. So the finance charges are using now. What are the methods? There's a method called unpaid balance method. Okay, this is the one. It's, it's hard to explain it now. And the second one is going to be called average daily balance method. All right? So there's only two sections. Uh, I mean, there's three sections, but we're going to be spending more time on 7.2 and 7.3, all right? And like I said, you will get into details when we see that. Now, what about Chapter 8? Chapter 8 is going to be about, you know, compute. This is an, an interesting chapter, by the way. Uh, something called maturity value and interest rate on a single payment loan. Now, you took a loan. Remember, this is all about expenses here. So you took a loan, and you need to know how much you're going to you're gonna pay at the end of the term. For example, you took a loan for five years, you know, you took the money, you're gonna pay interest, and there's an amount at the end. So we need to learn this. 8.2, the down payment and the amount financed on an installment loan. So the down payment, how much, I mean, you're buying, you're buying something, for example, a car, you need to come up with a down payment, for example, and the, the remaining amount is gonna be financed, okay? Uh, now let's talk about uh, the monthly payments. There's a monthly uh, monthly payment. Uh, when you pay a loan, usually you don't you don't pay it once. You want, you pay it on a monthly basis. So this is where we're going to be doing the calculation. We're going to do the calculation and to find out how much you're going to be paying monthly and how much will be the finance charge. 
involved in that monthly payment. Okay, now 8.4, the payment and interest payment and the principal. Now, what does it mean? A principal, that's the amount you took from the bank. And you need to know when we do the payments, for example, if I pay $100 to the bank, or not to say make it more reasonable, $500 to the bank, right, on a monthly basis, am I reducing my loan by $500? The answer, definitely no, because there's interest involved. Interest is, is like something you have to pay to pay the bank. So your, your loan's going to go down, but it's not going to go down by $500 because the interest will, will be in, included in that $500. So maybe your interest will go, sorry, maybe your principal will go down by $350. Maybe the, the interest will be $150. It depends on at the beginning of the loan or at the end of the loan. Usually the, the beginning of the loan, that interest is higher, and you, you go toward finishing the loan will be a lot less. The final payment, if you want to pay it off directly, you know, you know, let's say you don't want to keep paying installments. I will show you how to be going to do this. And, um, you know, mainly that's it. That's what we're going to be doing. It's a very interesting uh, unit. So we'll see how it's going to work. Okay. See you. Bye-bye.